Seismologists are calling the earthquake in southeast Colorado this morning a mystery. They're not aware of any fault lines in that part of the state. It was close to some areas known for human induced earthquakes, though the researchers we talked with, they don't think that fracking was behind this morning's shaking. Here's Corey Reppenhagen. A 3.8 magnitude earthquake Monday morning in southeast Colorado was relatively strong for our state. Over the last 20 years, only 10 quakes have been stronger, and the location was very unusual. There have only been seven earthquakes recorded in that part of the state since 1989. I would definitely just put this one in the currently mysterious category. Seismologist Karen Bogolev says there are no known fault lines in Baca County that could have triggered the earthquake. Just because we don't know about a fault being there doesn't mean there isn't one. In fact, earthquakes are often a good way that we find Faults. It is possible that it could have been what seismologists call a human-induced earthquake. Those are mainly caused when wastewater from oil and gas operations gets injected back into the earth. We know it happens, and we know it happens in the state. So it was. it's not crazy to wonder about this earthquake. But Bogolev says in this case, the quake was likely not human-induced. She says even though it was in between the Raton Mesa and Oklahoma where human-induced earthquakes are more common, Baca County doesn't have as much oil and gas activity as its neighbors. Another theory could be plate tectonics. That's when large sections of the earth move. She says the plate that Colorado sits on is not near other plate boundaries which cause the bigger earthquakes, but there is a section of our plate that is rifting. The, so that means that that plate is actually kind of tearing apart. Um, I always tell people that if you get some property in the San Luis Valley, it might be a good investment because in 10,000 years, it could be beachfront. <laughs> Baca County is more than 100 miles from the San Luis Valley, but Bogolev says it is possible that the rifting is causing what she calls intraplate earthquakes, and those could be affecting a larger area than scientists are currently aware of. These sorts of earthquakes are not particularly well understood. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for next. So there was some shaking that was reported in Pritchett and Springfield. And Bogolov says a 3.8 magnitude earthquake that can cause some small damage to buildings, like knock things off shelves, but no damage reported by today's mystery.